Hey guys, hope you guys are all doing well. So I had a request today, um, actually yesterday, today's February the 4th, on uh, the Opuntia humafusa, the Eastern Prickly Pear. So this is it right here, when they're uh, healthy and vibrant. So I took these two cuttings from my front yard out front, uh, just before the cold weather hits. I'm going to propagate them or, and plant them in the, in the sunny location in the back here. But uh, somebody was asking me if we could grow them. And yes, we can. And I will go to the front of my house and show you guys how they're doing. Okay? Oh, and before I do that, it is a nice warm day today. It's, uh, I should put one of my plants outside. It's six degrees right now. And that's in the shade, so... Yeah, I put my Mediterranean fan palm out, um, the Humulus, Camerops Humulus, out in these sunny days. Just loves it, so. And uh, let's go up to the top here. Just bear with me, guys. And I will show you how my prickly pear grew out in the front. Oh. Yes, it looks a lot colder than it is with the snow, but uh, it's actually really nice today. Hope you guys are having a great day. Again, just bear with me here. All right, I just had to grab a stick because you don't want to touch these guys. They are prickly, hence the name prickly pear. I've got stung or pricked by these guys so many times. So I have about 20 or 30 of them here underneath the snow. Okay, sorry about that. I had to shovel with uh, one hand and it was hard holding the camera. So there it is right there. That's the Opuntia humifusa, Eastern Prickly Pear. So I have it. I have about 20 or 30 of them growing underneath the snow here. They're dormant, obviously, right now, because that's what happens. They go dormant in the uh, winter here. And uh, it's on a rocky slope here. It's uh, gravel and rock. So even when it rains, uh, it, it runs off really well. And uh, like I said, they go dormant here in the winter. I'll just cover that back up. And... Uh, yeah, they don't look great, but they come back every year. I've had them there for a few years, and uh, they do grow here. They're endemic here to southern Ontario and parts of the northeast U.S. So, yes, they can grow here, and uh, they come back great every year. So, just a quick video, guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I hope I answer that person's questions and question, and have a great day with that, guys. Cheers. Take care.